Good day. It's another Wednesday, and as you know, it's time for the Trex platform, informing the nation on tax matters. And I'm your usual host, Dumelo Aranao. This week we look at a very interesting topic, often withholding tax. Particularly, we look at who you should withhold from and who is supposed to withhold tax. Generally, the withholder of with uh, tax it's a company or we can say it's a business and we know that most of the time the businesses are operated by companies or through companies and that's why it is commonly accepted that it is a subject that will be found only among companies. So generally, companies will pay um, that whatever form of payment and then they withhold tax from those. It can be rent, management fees, and the like. But we know that Businesses are not only run through companies. You can run a business as a sole trader. You can run a business through partnership or any other form of running a business. So even individuals can withhold tax. But for them to withhold tax, they should be running a business and that payment they are making should be a business expense. For example, if you are paying rent, you are renting out a general dealer or you are renting out an office, you can withhold rent, withhold tax on that. Um, right, you are paying to someone as long as it is over 4000 per month as an individual. Because you are running a business and you are going to deduct that rent as a business expense. But if that rent you are paying it is for your residential uh, property that you stay in and you are not going to deduct that as a business expense, then you don't qualify to withhold tax from that rent. So, the principle is you should be running a business for you to be a withholder of tax and actually qualify to be what we can call a withholding tax agent. Moving to who you should withhold from. That one, it doesn't matter whether you are an individual, a company, a trust. As long as you are not exempt from tax, somebody who withholds tax can withhold tax from you. Whether they are paying you rent, they can withhold or they are paying you commission, they can withhold tax from you, whether you are an individual or not. So the exclusion on individuals only apply to the one who is paying, and it doesn't apply to the one who is receiving. So as a receiver of payment, as long as you are eligible to pay tax, tax can be withheld from you whether you are an individual or not the confusion on whether 
tax should be withheld from individuals or not. It is brought about by the fact that you know, in the Act, when it comes to rent specifically, it says as an individual, you cannot withhold tax if you are not in business. So then some people use that to say you cannot withhold tax from me as an individual. While in fact it says as an individual you cannot withhold tax if you are not using that as a business expense. So I just wanted to bring clarity on those two that regardless of whether you are an individual or a company, we can withhold tax from you. And there's nothing you can do about it because that's what the law wants. I hope that was insightful. Continue to listen to the tax platform. We are available across all the streaming services that you are using, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Samsung Podcast, to mention just a few. Thank you and have a good day.